This family always eats together as one happy family. They eat inside one plate. So this little homeless girl always visit them each time they gather to eat. She always wanted to join this family. But each time she visits, the mother of the kids will chase her away and say that she looks so dirty. She said, get out. I've been warning you never to come close to where I'm eating with my kids again. This place is not a charity organization. It is not an orphanage home. Why are you always coming here? Leave this place before you contaminate this food for my children. The little girl said, please ma, let me join you. And she said to her kids, you guys should continue eating. Then the eldest daughter stood up as she was not happy about her mother's reactions towards the little girl. And then she said to the other kids, you guys should continue eating. Let her go if she doesn't want to eat. Continue eating. Praise Ma, can I join? Leave this place. I'll, I'll deal with this girl. Leave this place. Leave this place. I beg, leave the compass. Leave the compass for me. Leave the compass. Idiot. You want to put poison for my children. Look how dirty you are. I beg, continue eating. Leave this girl. She's not hungry. I enjoy this table, I Few minutes later, the daughter sneaked out with food. She met the homeless girl by the roadside, crying. And she said, Little girl, please stop crying. I've brought food for you. This is the food. Please eat and stop crying. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay? Then she opened the water and then gave it to the girl to wash her hand. The girl washed her hand and then she started eating. After the little girl finished eating, the girl went back home and then her mother was waiting for her to come back home and said, where are you coming from? Why did you take my food to that dirty girl? I've warned you that I don't want to see that girl in this house, but you took my food to go and give it to her. Am I running a charity home? Do you know what it takes to provide food for four of you, including myself? That is five people I'm feeding in this house. And then you are bringing extra body to consume my food. Just like to do that. I mean, don't you dare. Don't you dare it. Even if you have to be stingy. Not with food. That girl has been coming here to beg for food. But you refuse to give her. And it's not as if you don't have food in this house. We have a lot of food in this house. Why are you doing this, mom? What if you are like, you are no more? Like, tomorrow now, the table turns up. What will you do? Mom, you are Sunday school teacher in church. When you get there, you preach another one. When you come here, you do another one. What are you teaching us? And then, the mother said, I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking that way. I only thought I should be able to provide for you and your siblings. I didn't know I was supposed to give food to whosoever Please, that needs forgive food. me. Go and call that girl so that she will come and live with us. Really? Yes. Thank you so much, Mom. Yes. Go and call her. Go and bring that. Okay, Mom.